Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to color a hyper-realistic glass of wine using the Color Therapy app. Creating this realistic wine glass and wine is actually a lot easier than you think. I'll show you how to accomplish it with ease. If you'd like to follow along, search for this image under glass of wine in the search box. Okay, so let's start off by coloring the glass first. So go into the gray palette and select the fourth color on the top row. Let's use the airbrush tool, set the size at 100 and opacity at 25. Let's make sure coloring inside the lens mode is off and just go and color in the entire glass. We're just creating a base. Now select the first color on the second row of the gray palette and lower the size down to 30. Now go in and trace along the entire inside of the glass. Now select the second color on the second row and with the airbrush tool, lower the size to 10 and set the opacity at 65. Now with coloring inside the lines mode set to on, let's focus on the stem and the base of the glass and let's just shade those inside edges. So I'm just following along those lines. Now with the airbrush tool, set the size at 100 and opacity at 80. Now turn coloring inside the lines mode to off and with white, color in the very middle of the glass. And then for the stem, let's turn coloring inside the lines mode to on and lower the size down to four. Now we're just gonna highlight the areas. So just highlighting the middle parts of each section in the stem, as well as on the base. Don't worry if it's a little wobbly, that's okay. We'll use the smear tool and fix it up. Now let's add in some wine. So go to the red shades palette and select the second color on the top row. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is off. And then with the airbrush tool, set the size at 45 and opacity at 100. So I'm just gonna add the wine into the glass and I want it to be sort of splashing up. So on one edge, I'll just kind of bring it up. And I want it to look like someone is pouring wine right in the glass to add some movement. So I'm just gonna add a little column coming down from the top. Back in the red palette, select the fourth color on the top row. And then with the airbrush tool, set the size at 65 and opacity at 85. Let's add a nice red glow in the middle there. And then I'm gonna select the first color on the top row. Just add in a little bit of a dark shadow on either side. And then with black, I'm just gonna add even more of a shadow, just a little bit on the edges. In the red palette, I'm using the sixth color on the top row again. And this time let's set the size to 20 and opacity at 85. Just add a few little dots of red into the area where we're pouring the wine down. And then just lower the size down to 10%. And with that dark red color on the top row, the first one, just add in a little bit of a squiggly line to the middle of that pouring area, starting to define the shape of it. And then with that dark color, you can also add a little bit of a shadow right below where the wine is pouring in, just like a curved little line there. Now with the pen tool, set the size at five and opacity at 100. Then back in the gray palette, select the fourth color on the top row. You just want to define those splashing shapes now. So just go ahead and draw lines. So we're just separating the background from the wine. And then to further refine that, you can just fill the wine in. Just go right up to the edge you just drew, fill it in with the red color that we used before for the wine. And then you can switch back to white, same settings, and just continue to clean up those lines. And do the same thing for the wine that's pouring down too, just clean up those edges so they're really crisp using the pen tool as well as the airbrush tool. And with the smear tool, set the size at 30 and intensity at 70 and just draw a squiggly smeary line down. You can also blend the wine in the glass and make little bumps here and there so it looks like it's tumultuous. And then clean up the background with the airbrush tool, just size and intensity at 100 and with white. And coloring inside the lines mode set to on, just clean up the edges around that wine glass. You can also add in some details with the pen tool. So set the size at one, opacity at 100. Just add in a few little dots here and there. You can also raise the size to 2% for some bigger dots. Let's also add a very soft reflection. So set the size and opacity at 50 and with white, just add a very soft 
little reflection on the edges of the glass. And then finally, let's just lower the size to six and opacity at 40. And then just draw some more defined highlights just straight down the sides of the glass, just curving down. For more movement, you can also add little splashes of the wine or even have it swirl all the way around the cup and out. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.